Hey, welcome back. So what I want us to do now is to make links to our edit and delete section here. So I will go to courses view page and right here where we have the, this is the edit and delete button. So let's add some links over here. So I'm going to move this to put it in the center like so. And copy that a tag to here as well okay then in the link here of course we need the root slash uh, admin since we're in the admin section and we are in courses and one of them is edit and the other is delete but let's go with one for now and then we need to add the id so we're just going to say raw id and close that tag so the only difference here is that this one goes to the delete section okay with that in mind we are good now we have uh, two of these buttons now if you want the delete to look reddish we can change the color and just say uh, text because that's a text color text primary no text danger that should change the color of this trash can to red. Okay, so there we go. Now, if we click on this, we should go to a specific page that exists because we already have this. So if I click, it comes to this page. Now it's an empty page, but it is the edit page and it exists, so that's good. So what we need on this page are tabs. Okay, so we need tabs uh, like the ones we had on, uh, we have to go back to the Udemy course section to see what the tabs are all about. So for now, what I would do is I want to copy tabs from, um, let's see here, from the profile page. So these tabs right there, uh, yes. Hmm. Well, what I can do is let me go to uh, templates since I have these templates. Nice admin. I want to look at the original. Right click, open containing folder. Let me open that baby up. Okay. And I want to go to, let's see icons components and where are we here tabs yes that one right there so let's see what tabs can we use or we can use maybe the justified versions are good because they will fill up the entire space mm. or these maybe so that uh, it looks like what we have on the um, original Udemy page. So let me see this. Let's go back to my courses, click on edit. So maybe we can have tabs that are down here. I don't know, uh, it's up to you what kind of design you really want, but I'm thinking they are going to occupy too much space. I would rather have them at the top so that um, I think they are better off there. So I'm just going to right click inspect this one so I can grab, let me lower this a bit, inspect again. Okay, so we are right here, that's the card. If I go a step higher, then I'm getting too much. So I'm just going to copy the out HTML of this Alrighty then, so <clears throat> I will come to where it says edit over here and then I will paste. Okay. So select and let's shift tab to move these guys a little bit backward. So instead of border justify, we're just going to say edit course.
too many O's there, right? Okay, so good. And now let's come back and refresh. Okay, so there we go. Edit course. Mm -hmm. So we need to know what course we are editing here. Um, so let's put the course title, make it visible here. Let's see, we have tabs there. Okay, that's nice. So the idea here is that when we are on a tab, if we add new information, it should know that we've added new information. And so when we try to move to another tab, it will tell us to save this one first before going to another tab. The reason I want that to happen this way is because let's say if we don't save per tab like this, it's going to be chaos because if let's say I, I type something in here that isn't properly validated, and then I try to move to another tab and move, add some more information that isn't properly validated and then go to the final one and then try to hit the save button. The problem is that if I have errors on each tab, it's going to be difficult to show the user all those errors from all the tabs. So it's a good idea to validate before we move to another tab and then make sure every all the information is saved on this tab before we go to another one so that if there are errors we show the user errors in the right places all right but for now we just need to get the information that we want from uh, for the course this particular course right here when we click edit now we can do that because we have an id here we know that this is on the courses page the action is edit and the id is two so we can use that to gather information about this course. So let's um, let's do that. So we'll do that, of course, in the... Um, let me close this template section. We'll do this in the admin controller. So we're in admin controller. We're in the courses function. We have an action, and that action is edit. So this one is add. And this is the final else. So I just want to get this one for the edit. So I'll put it right before the else statement, paste like so, and then do that. Oh, wait, I'll need to remove this. I don't know what's the proper way to put these guys, maybe like this, okay. Uh, are they either in the right place? I've... Wait, this one should be an else. Else if, like this. So, like that. Else if, okay. And this one goes to edit. All right, so for now, what I want is just to read a single course. So I'll just, copy this right here and uh, paste it here. This one is just a single row. I won't put rows, it should just be one row. Uh, so it's just say get course information from there. And what I want is remember that we have action and we have ID here. So we'll use we already know action is edit, so what we want is the ID. So I'm going to grab this one. Now it's important to note that I should only edit a course that I created myself. So make sure user ID is in there as well. And then we're going to put ID as part of the thing to search for as well. Okay, so ID here is coming from here, okay? But at the same time, we are using user ID as well, uh, which is coming from the currently logged in user, okay? So the query is going to ask what item in courses table has my user ID and also has a specific ID. If it finds that item, then I am qualified to edit it because my user ID is in there but let's use it first here like that so that we get one record only and it goes into row so this is all we needed for the site 
let's go to the pro uh not the profile view let me close that let's go to the courses view back here and uh, this should only show the edit course uh let's see what can we do this card title here maybe we can put two titles like this and so what i want to do is let's see card body ends here okay so within here we can put an end if and put an if statement let's do this i will change this to end if and move it along what I want is to put an if statement here. So PHP, I'll say if not empty row like this. Okay. All right. So if there's something in the row, then things are good. So let me move this over here, tab it a little bit. But we need an else statement as well. So I should have left that else as it were. Full colon. Here, let me put this inside a div and just say uh, that course was not found. Just in case for any reason uh, the course was not found. So let's test that if I refresh. Okay, we have another edit course here, no big deal. But let me change the um, number here at the end to a course I know does not exist. And it says that course was not found. Okay, that's great. So if I click here, there we go. Now, instead of seeing edit course twice, what I really wanted here is, let me remove this uh, class for card title. Let's see what happens. Okay, it moves a bit closer, that's cool. Here I want to put the title of the course. So I'm just going to copy this, put it here. Uh, paste. So title and close that. And of course we need to escape it like this. Okay, great. So let me refresh. Okay, I missed something. Let me try to guess. Oh, there we go. That is unidentified, unidentified object. So I didn't even type title properly. That's where that E came from, I guess. Okay, so photography for beginners, that's the course title. Great. If we go back um, and I click on this one, you see the title changes accordingly. So we need some buttons here. Uh, back, maybe back and save. I don't know. Maybe we can put those buttons right here at the top. Uh, hmm. Okay, okay, for now, let's put them in here. I'm going to have a div like this, and I'm going to put a button over here, and this one will be save. I'll add a class for button and say button uh, success. Duplicate this, and the other one will be button primary. And this one will have back or console. Okay, great. Then this, let's see, this whole thing, uh, class, let me float it to the end. Okay, let's see this right here. Okay, so save back, that's good, but they're over here. I want them a bit. This is not good. Let me move them above this since they are floating anyway. If that would change anything. Okay, it does. So that's good. So save back. Um, I want a link to the back here. So I'll click, click. Let's move this here. So back just takes us back to, let's put root and admin slash courses. That's it. Okay, so refresh and back, we're here. Click edit, there we go. Back, edit, back. 
Okay, so in the next video, let's see how we can uh, detect when, let's put the right names for the tabs and then detect if a tab has, we've moved to another tab after editing something, right? So it can give us a warning, please save this before you go to the next slide. All right, I'll see you in the next video.